welcome to Jesse Bear Book Club. We like to talk about historical fiction, wild cards, Game of Thrones, and much, much more. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Today, I finally want to talk about Rain, the TV series that ran from 2014 to 2017, which was made by CBS. The series follows the early exploits of Mary, Queen of Scots, and I've been building up to doing this review because anybody who enjoys historical fiction has watched or heard about Rain at some point. Normally with the words, it's so bad attached. But I am going to be honest, I didn't hate this show. I actually watched more of it than a history fan should really admit to. The show is highly fictionalized, but I never minded that because it was obviously not trying to be historically accurate. I mean, the show opens with Mary Queen of Scots in an honorary, playing football in the mud. If that doesn't give you everything you need to know about the show's accuracy, I don't know what will. The show is very loosely based on Mary Queen of Scots' early life and starts in 1557 and finishes in 1562, five years and four seasons. At least they kept the timeline relative, but that is the only thing about this show that is remotely realistic. I believe this show was a template for shows like The White Princess and The Spanish Princess. Oversexed and way too dramatic. When I first decided to start watching Rain, I was expecting something similar to The Tudors, and I was originally very disappointed the show was not going to be even remotely historically accurate. But the storylines are so fast-paced and ridiculous, I used to just turn my brain off and watch it like a fancy dress soap opera. Something I could never do with The White Princess or Spanish Princess, which are very similar because I spent the entire time comparing them to the books they are supposedly based on, and being disappointed they were destroying my favourite characters. When this show first came out, I was really into Tumblr, and the memes about this show were great. It was worth watching the show just for the endless meme scrolling, I actually think, looking back, that is one of the reasons I kept watching it for so long. I loved the memes. The TV show is so full of beautiful people, it is insane. TV and movies always glam up their characters. The Tudors was a big one for beautifying historical characters, but Rain takes it to another level. Adelaide Kane, who plays the leading role of Mary Stewart, looks the part. She has the wrong hair colour, but I can forgive that because she does a great acting job with the silly storylines. In fact, all the acting in this show is really good. It is just the soap opera style drama that lets it down. By far, one of the weirdest and most unneeded storylines is the love triangle between Mary Stewart, her betrothed Prince Francis, played by Toby Regbo, and his bastard half-brother who never existed, Sebastian, who is played by Torrance Combs. It is worth watching Rain just for Sebastian, in my opinion. The guy gives me serious Dark Star vibes. If Game of Thrones had done the right thing with the Dorn plot, I think he would have been perfect to play Dark Star. All dark and dangerous. But I'm just a girl with a crush. Another silly modern trope that was used in this show was giving Mary Queen of Scots ladies-in-waiting modern names. Lady Lola. Lady Keenan, Lady Ali. This is a historical show, not Pretty Little Liars. I know in history all Mary Queen of Scots ladies were also called Mary, and that could be confusing. But they could have got around it like the Tudors did by calling somebody Margaret, or Maggie, or Maura. All the ladies, of course, embark on a string of romantic affairs, which in actual history never would have been allowed. All of these romantic affairs end horribly and none of them are very important to the overall plot of the show. So that is all I'm going to say on the matter. One of my favourite episodes in this series is the Queen of the Bean episode in Season 1, starring Catherine Prescott as Penelope and the titular Queen of the Bean. I love how the show took a historical tradition and completely turned it on its head, making it very modern and funny. I also love Catherine Prescott from her time on Skins as Emily, so maybe I'm biased. There is also an episode where Catherine de Medici, played by Megan Follows, 
has a secret deformed bastard daughter that lives in the walls of the palace and spies on everyone. It is just so strange. Who thought that was a good plot? How did that get past any producer? There is also an episode where Catherine de' Medici has to take a bath in horse urine to cure the plague, which she doesn't have. I honestly wonder who was writing this. The Tumblr memes about this episode were everywhere and they were brilliant. But the storylines in this show just get crazier and crazier as the seasons go on. I was really looking forward to Mary going back to Scotland and the dynamic that would play out between her and Elizabeth I, played by Rachel Scartine, who really looked the part. It was not the most realistic interpretation of Elizabeth I I have ever seen, but looks-wise she was perfect. I thought season 4 was all over the place. You can tell the writers had gotten bored or running out of ideas because season 4 only has 16 episodes compared with the first and second season, which have 22 each. I also did not like how season 4 kept skipping from Scotland, England and to France and back again. It just seemed messy to me. They should have been more focused. And why? Oh why? Did they keep calling Elizabeth of Valois Queen Lisa of Spain? It bugged the hell out of me. They had to give all the ladies in waiting stupid names, but they couldn't call her Lizzie or Beth or even Eliza? Lisa? Is Lisa even a name? The actors' costumes and sets in this show are so amazing and beautiful it tricks you into watching loads of the show. I used to put it on in the background while doing university work as white noise, before I bit the bullet and got an Audible subscription. This is a great show for turning off your brain and just binging if you like history, but it is incredibly historically inaccurate, so you have to turn off your inner historian or it is just unwatchable. If anybody wants to watch Rain, it is available on Netflix, and I think the first and second season are the best. It's still silly, but it is enjoyable silly, I think anyway. Whereas season 3 and 4 are too silly to try and follow, and they jump around too much. Rain got 7.5 on IMDb and mixed reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. Season 1 got 58%, but season 4 got 100. I give it 4 out of 10. It is stupid historical fiction, and pretty much just a soap opera, but it is an extremely beautiful historically fictionalized soap opera, and at least they didn't murder a book to make it. But what do you think? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. And as always, this is just my opinion. Please remember to help out and like this video if you enjoyed it. You can also follow me on Instagram at Lady Jessica Riddell and on Twitter at Jessums. I post on Twitter regularly about my videos. If you want to see more book reviews, character comparisons and fan theories, please subscribe to Jessie Bear Book Club. I try to post a new video at least once a week. See you next time on Jessie Bear Book Club. Bye!